electrical engineering is a better degree choice than software engineering. But hold up, before all you software gurus start attacking me in the comment section, let me explain. Just, let, just hear me out real quick. So my name is Joe Dobbini and I'm an electrical engineer. From my experience in the field, you know, paying attention to my brother who was a software engineer and me on this side being a hardware engineer, it's, I can see the pros and cons of both sides. Obviously as a software engineer, you can always, you know, when you join any of the fan companies, you can make crazy amounts of money, but not everybody makes it there. And a lot of people watching aren't going to be there. Realistically speaking, a lot of people are gonna fall around that medium range of salary, of jobs. That's why it's called the medium range. So the number one reason I would say that electrical engineering is a better pick than software engineering is because it's uh, it's so much easier to go from electrical engineering to being a software engineer. Even people who don't have degrees can go out, go to boot camp for coding and learn all the necessary skills needed for them to perform at a high efficiency. Now, electrical engineers, we do get a great background in electrical engineering, but we also get a good background in coding. Maybe not as in depth as a software engineer, but hey, if you really want to make that transition, you definitely can because you are already like 70% there. You understand all the, the way to work, while loops, if loops. A lot of us learn MATLAB, but to transition from MATLAB to Python, it's very easy. But in contrast, for a software engineer to try to become an electrical engineer, it's so much harder to make that transition because one, you know, all the concepts, signal analysis, circuitry, and just the labs that electrical engineers do, you can't replicate it outside in the real world unless you have your, your own function generators. And there's a lot of equipment that universities give you to use that a lot of people don't have in their houses. And for a software engineer to transition over, they're gonna have to spend thousands of dollars to just get the proper equipment needed to run these labs and test so they can get a core fundamental understanding of this electrical engineering concepts. So that follows all along with my second reasoning is versatility. So as an electrical engineer, there's tons and tons of fields that you can be a part of. You can be a part of software development. You can be a part of hardware design. You can be a par part of power engineering, circuit design, instruments, controls, robotics. There's so many options that you have. And software engineers, they can also be in a lot of these fields that electrical engineers work in, right? Um, but software engineers do have much more competition than electrical engineers because a lot of people who are going, there's more and more people going into software engineering than electrical engineering. And now when it comes to that one job that, hey, they're already, they're full on software engineers and they need a few electrical engineers. A lot of software engineers can't put their application for those positions and that puts you in the lead. So the third reason I would, recommend electrical engineering over software engineering is that, you know, later on down the line, the, the earning potential for the top 10%, you know, electrical engineers make approximately like a few thousands more later down the line base pay. But I'm pretty sure anybody who works in any you know, of those fang, Google, um, Amazon software engineers, you know, open AI is paying their software engineers almost $900,000 a year. And there are, people in the 1% as a software engineer that you can make crazy lucrative amounts of money. But for everybody else in the electrical engineering side, most most of us in the top 10% do make a number that's gonna be higher than a lot of other software engineers that aren't in the top companies in the industry. So according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the medium annual salary for electrical engineers was 91,000 in 2020. And the medium annual salary for software engineers was 107,000, but there's a cash to it. So when you pay attention to the top 10% of electrical engineers, they earn $162,000 in 2020, while the top 10% of software engineers made $152,000 per year. So that's almost a $10,000 difference in the top 10% bracket. So take that how you will. So the fourth reason I would highly recommend is as an electrical engineer, you are well equipped to start your own invention, right? Okay. Look at this. I made this buck converter right in, right back when I was in college. Okay. I designed it in Altium and then I had to use programming to program my RF receiver. I used an Arduino to program this and you know, I had to use, use my programming skills. And if I want to invent something, I know how to make circuits work. I don't need anybody else looking over my so shoulder. And if I need some coding help, 
there's a lot of resources online to get um, coding help, but it's much harder to find electrical engineers that can sit down with you and do signal analysis and troubleshoot your invention. So that's why I ultimately chose electrical engineering because I know one day I want to invent something and I need the skills without having to pay anybody else to invent what I want to make. If you're enjoying this video so far, and then you're finding value out of this video, you should hit the like button and the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments relating to what you're hearing, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. I try to respond to everybody. So the fifth reason I would pick electrical engineering is because there's a more guaranteed job security. So the way I, what I mean is there's more and more software engineers that get laid off when the companies start falling off because they know there's a lot of new software engineers that are going to be coming out of college that can easily replace those positions, but at, at a cheaper rate. Now, vice versa, there's not a lot of electrical engineers, uh, a lot of people going into school to become electrical engineers. So it makes it harder for them to replace those numbers. For a lot of times, electrical engineers get to keep their job, right? More, moreover than software engineers. Both electrical engineers and software engineers, the growth rate for the jobs is about the same, it's about 2%. But when it comes to, you know, how many people are going to college for software engineers, there's a lot. And there's always that chance that that 18 year old fresh out of high school can be way more efficient at coding than you and can replace you at a cheaper price. Uh, but it's much harder for electrical engineering because a lot of people who don't go to school for electrical engineering find it much harder to learn what you need to learn to be successful in the workforce outside of the educational system. Both electrical engineers and software engineers are the backbone of our society today. So my brothers on the other side, software engineers, mechanical engineers, um, manufacturing, whatever it may be, you're all putting great value into this world. And I appreciate it, the world appreciate it. And whichever path you do decide to take, hey, by all means, Godspeed. I hope God blesses your journey. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. Jadawini is out, but hit the like button and subscribe button. And if you're new and anything else, leave it in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next video.